using visual representations. I'm going to start with a number line. And I'll mark the endpoints of my number line 0 and 1. I'm multiplying proper fractions, so I know my product will be a proper fraction or a number less than 1. Okay, I'm looking for 3 fourths of 4 fifths. So I'll start by dividing my number line into fifths. And I want to mark 4 fifths. So again, I'm looking for 3 fourths of 4 fifths. Now, I'm going to find 3 fourths of 4 fifths by taking this length, 4 fifths, and splitting it into fourths. It's already done here for me. Fourths. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm looking for 3 fourths of 4 fifths, which sits right here. That's 3 fourths of 4 fifths. I'll highlight that as well. Okay, and I can rename that spot or name that spot on the number line as 3 fifths. This number line is segmented into fifths, and this spot on the number line is 3 fifths. Let me do my computation. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. And I can simplify that by dividing by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, 20 divided by 4 is 5, 3 fifths, and my point on the number line is 3 fifths. I can also model this fraction multiplication problem using an area model. So I'll start with a rectangle, and I will divide that rectangle into fifths. I'm looking for 3 fourths of 4 fifths, so I'm going to start with 4 fifths. There's fifths, and I'm going to highlight four fifths. Now I'm looking for three fourths of four fifths, so I'll split my rectangle now into fourths. And I'm going to highlight three fourths. One, two, and three. You can see that this overlapping area represents my product. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Out of one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, four times five is twenty total boxes. And again, I can simplify 12 twentieths to 3 fifths.